Hey there, makers. It's Brie from the team here at Minerva. I am so excited to share some outerwear sewing inspiration with you today. I have six patterns and six fabrics for sewing up cute, cozy, and on-trend outerwear this winter. So I'm gonna give like a quick little trend report, and then we will sink into some sweet sewing projects. So I was looking through some ready to wear and runway inspiration, and there were definitely some core themes that emerged. So topping the trends are classic menswear inspired coats with an oversized fit. We're seeing a lot of extra long wool coats with open lapel collars and chunky waist ties. Another big trend is the bomber jacket, which has been kind of creeping back on the scene the last couple seasons, and now they are everywhere. Shackets and chore coats are also still going strong from previous seasons. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. The other important trend aspect I wanna to touch on is color and fabrication. Again, it is all about the classics this season. Everywhere it is all neutral colors, with camel and these warmer tones taking center stage, followed by our typical like black and grayscale tones. Prints are pretty much limited to checks and plaids, and most designers are prioritizing interesting textures over prints. In terms of fabrication, wool and wool blends are the most popular. There are flannels and corduroys to be found, as well as lots of shearling and teddy fabrics, but they're definitely taking second place to wool and wool blends this season. With all of this trend information and inspiration in mind, I headed over to our website to check out patterns and fabrics. Now, I know it is a hot debate in the sewing community. Do you start with the fabric and then find a suitable pattern? Or do you like to start with a pattern and then go for a fabric that fits the pattern recommendations? I'm kind of a bit of both, but when I have a ready to wear inspiration or something I want to recreate, I tend to go for pattern first. There I can work to match the silhouette and the design details. So I looked up patterns for a chore coat, a bomber jacket, a trench coat, shacket, a classic menswear coat, and of course the ultra on trend oversized coat. With my patterns dialed in, I found some gorgeous fabrics to go with them. Keeping with the pattern recommendations in mind, I made great use of the filters within the fabric page. I used the coating option among the fabric type category, as well as using fiber and color tabs. This makes browsing a lot more focused and really helps with searching when you have a particular fabric in mind. Now, of course, I will link everything I talk about down below so you can check out the products in more detail, as well as catch some more inspiration from other makers who have worked with the patterns or fabrics. And speaking of inspiration, you can also use hashtags. So you could search like hashtag sewing outerwear, hashtag coat making, hashtag winter sewing for loads more maker inspiration, as well as relevant product information, tutorials, recommendations, so great. Without further ado, let's jump into the patterns and fabrics. We're starting off with the chore coat, and for that I have chosen the Sienna Maker Jacket by Closet Core Patterns. Sienna was inspired by vintage French workwear and is designed to be a chic layering piece as well as a practical jacket. All views feature a sharp notched collar and all the pockets you could possibly imagine. <laughs> View A and B are longer jackets that hit either at the mid thigh or just past the bum. They both have deep roomy hip pockets and a wrap closure to pull the jacket in close around the waist. View C is a short chore jacket with front and back button plackets. Now I will admit I'm not really sure what the back button placket is for, but it looks super cool. I think it's a really cool detail. Other details that can be added to any view are the buttoned sleeve plackets, great for keeping like a little pencil or like your thread snips. Um, and you can also add a little snap at the lapel so you can close the top of the collar, you know, for extra coziness. The printed Sienna comes in US sizes zero to 20. So that is a 33 to a 48 inch hip. 
Like most closet core patterns, Sienna is rated intermediate. There is nothing difficult in the pattern per se, um, especially since the instructions are really clear and really fantastic about breaking things down, walking you through. But the extra experience definitely helps when you're sewing like the notched collar, all the buttonholes, doing all the top stitching. Sienna is made for medium to heavyweight wovens like canvas, denim, cotton twill, and heavyweight linen. For the Sienna, I've chosen this Minerva Core Range 100% cotton drill. I really leaned into the trending colors here with this nice deep brown. Uh, the fabric is also available in several other colors though. Um, this one is kind of on the lighter side of cotton drill. It has a little more flexibility, but it's still gonna be really durable as a chore coat. Uh, the twill weave makes it extra strong, um, but it will still like sew and press really nicely. I think it's a great fabric for the Sienna jacket. Next, we have our bomber jacket. Bombers are such great outerwear pieces for the warmer winter days or for during transition seasons. For the bomber, I have gone with the Jali Charlie jacket. It is a classic bomber style with a front zip, welt pockets, and ribbing at the collar, cuff, and waistband. It also has a front yoke with a forward shoulder seam. This seam line is a perfect opportunity to play with some contrast fabric, either for some color blocking or even some texture play could be really fun here. The Jelly Charlie comes in both girls and women's sizes, all in one envelope. The girl sizes are for ages two to 13 and the women's sizes are for US 40 to 22, which is a 36 to 53 inch hip. You can use either stable knits or stretch wovens for the Charlie. You just wanna make sure that they have some horizontal stretch as well as a little bit of drape. For the Charlie Bomber, I went with this fantastic suede scuba from Minerva's Core Range. It comes in over 20 colors. This one is burnt orange. I went with this colorway because it's kind of a fun way to push the bounds of that warm neutrals trend. Like I'd say it's neutral adjacent. Uh, it's quite saturated, but I think it's still very earthy, which works with a lot of the color palettes we're seeing at the moment. So it is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It is super soft. It feels really great on the skin. And the back side, um, is also really nice. It acts as almost like a lining. Uh, so it has about 30% horizontal stretch and 10% vertical stretch. This fabric is really unique in that it is technically a knit, but it performs kind of similarly to a stretch woven. So you can treat it like a stretch uh, woven and sew it up with a straight stitch on most seams or treat it like a knit and sew it up on the overlocker. You will wanna take some extra care with pressing. Ideally, you want to avoid pressing on this front side at all. But if you have to, you can uh, test your iron setting on a scrap first and then use a press cloth. You wanna make sure that you're preserving this really lovely texture. So sewing suedette can have a bit of a learning curve, but I think the results are really worth it. A suede Charlie Bomber is a wardrobe piece that you can return to season after season again and again. Our next pattern has been a cult classic in the sewing community. It is the Isla Trench Coat from Named Clothing. So if you are looking to create that quintessential trench that is everywhere right now, this is the pattern to use. So Isla is a fully lined, long, straight cut, double-breasted trench coat with lots of details. There is a belt for waist shaping, practical storm flaps to keep the warm against the wind and the rain, as well as a back vent for easier movement. Additionally, Isla has a belted collar, welt pockets, and tabs at the sleeve openings. All of the edges are double top stitched to give it that extra special finish. Isla comes in US, or sorry, UK 4 to 28, which is roughly a 33 to 56 inch hip. With all of these like in-depth details, Isla is definitely rated master in terms of difficulty. 
I would say that you'd probably want to have made a coat before and have some practice with sewing a lining as well as being confident in constructing welt pockets. There's just a lot going on in this pattern, but it's also like such an investment piece. Like trench coats are really in the spotlight right now at the moment, very on trend, but they're also a piece that like, they're never gonna go out of style. So for that classic trench look, you'll want to go with a tightly woven, non-stretch, medium weight fabric. Uh, cotton twill or gabardines are perfect. I chose the Atelier Brunette 100% cotton gabardine in the color maple. So it comes in several other colors. Most of them are like classic or modern neutrals. I went with this maple because it is it kind of has that like nod to a classic beige trench coat, but is made like a bit softer with these kind of blushier pinky undertones. Definitely still a neutral in my book, but like neutral plus maybe. Uh, the fabric is super nice. It's really heavy with, um, with a good amount of drape. The twill weave is really pronounced and I think really pretty and it has this like really soft, brushed feel to it. It's got a tight weave and that's going to be perfect for sewing the Isla Trench. Our next piece is not exactly outerwear, but is definitely worth mentioning. The Shacket has been on the scene for a couple of seasons and at this point they're ubiquitous, like they're everywhere. It's a cross between like a shirt and a jacket. It's a great layering piece. I love that it can be worn as outerwear in the transitional seasons. But I really love wearing it around the house in the colder months. A uh, shacket is great for keeping toasty warm while indoors without feeling like you're wearing a coat in the house, you know? So there are lots of great shacket patterns out there. You could even adapt like a loose fitting shirt pattern by sizing up and making it, you know, a little boxier, a little roomier but I had to go with the sewing community favorite. That is the Ilford jacket by Friday Pattern Company. This pattern has so many variations. It's so customizable. So the main features are the easy to sew collar and the dropped shoulder. Then you can choose if you want a more traditional short jacket length, or you can make it longer for a kind of romantic duster type garment. There's a straight sleeve that you can just roll up at the end or go for the cuffed view with the sleeve placket. And then we have the pocket options. There are so many sizes, so many shapes to choose from. It's really a pattern that you can make your own. The printed Ilford comes in sizes extra small to 4X, which covers hips 34 to 57 inches. Despite it being an outerwear pattern, the Ilford is made for adventurous beginners. So Friday Pattern Company is so great at simplifying techniques. They break down the instructions and make skill building really accessible to sewists of lots of experience levels. If you've been intimidated by sewing outerwear, this is a great place to start. For fabrics, uh, most medium weight wovens like cotton drill, denim, linen, and wool will work nicely. But I've also seen that like longer duster style made up in drapey fabrics like viscose or tensile twill for like a very swishy uh, layering piece. I went for a super snuggly fabric. This is the Robert Kaufman Durango brushed cotton flannel. I just am like in love with these colors. It is so, so soft. So it's 100% cotton. Um, it is also 44 inches wide. So be sure you order a bit extra, um, not only to account for the width, but also if you plan on doing any pattern matching. I gotta say, I am like so tempted to order an extra cut of this and just have like a throw blanket to cuddle up with on the couch. Like just do a little hem or a little binding. You're done. Would also be great for like just a snuggly scar. I, like I keep just like putting it on my face because it is so, so cuddly. It is gorgeous. And I think would be such a great option for the Friday Ilford jacket. Next in our trends lineup is the classic menswear coat. For that, I have picked the Liesel & Co Chevelle coat. 
This is another one that is never going to go out of style. The design is so beautifully streamlined. It has all the classic menswear features. We have the traditional notched collar with a collar stand, front welt pockets with flap closures, and a walking vent for easier movement. Again, it's a super clean design. It is understated and very elegant. The Chevelle coat comes in US sizes 0 to 20, which covers hips measuring 35 to 48 and a half inches. Chevelle is rated intermediate, and the instructions include professional techniques used in the fashion industry. It's a great pattern for leveling up your sewing game, because while these techniques may be more advanced, Liesl & Co. patterns do an excellent job of breaking them down and walking you through them. In terms of fabrics, wool and other medium to heavyweight fabrics like canvas, denim, cotton twill are all great for the Chevelle coat. I've chosen this really lovely tweed wool coating in a beautiful dark gray. So this one is 50% wool and 50% polyester. That poly content is gonna add a lot of strength and durability to the wool. Um, it's also gonna help with laundering, makes that a little bit easier. Uh, I love this fabric. I think the texture is so, so pretty. It's a very classic wool design. Now it is a bit on the light side for a coating fabric. It is, I'd say it's like just barely too heavy for a pair of trousers, but like a skirt or a blazer would be really pretty in this. It is super soft. It feels really nice on the skin and will make such a perfect Chevelle coat. Now, before we move on to our last trending category, I wanted to show a coat making fabric slash accessory that can be really useful for making a coat extra cozy. So this is the Minerva Core range quilted poly cotton in cream. It is a layer of fabric that you can add to your coat uh, to provide some extra warmth and thickness. Basically like the idea is that you're adding a miniature quilt into your coat or jacket. So you can use this as an interlining for most woven jackets and coats. For an unlined jacket, you'll basically baste the quilted fabric to your main pieces and then sew them up together as one. In an unlined coat, your seams are exposed, so you may consider seam binding to nice, nicely like tuck in all those layers of fabric. Um, and of course, this uh, quilted fabric will show on the inside, which is could be super cute. The fabric comes in lots of colors, so you could like match it to your project. Uh, the other option, and the reason I'm bringing it in now, is because it could also go really nicely sandwiched between the main fabric and the lining. So this is gonna be perfect for bulking up the Chevelle coat that I was just sharing. You'll still stitch the main fabric and the quilted fabric together, but it'll all be hidden underneath the lining. You'll wanna make uh, take extra care to grade your seams and avoid bulk where you can, it's quite stiff but then you'll just attach the lining as instructed and you'll have an extra cozy and comfy coat. The last trend, the biggest trend, is the oversized exaggerated coat. These are really easy and fun to wear and even better, they are pretty easy and fun to make. So there's loads of variations on this trend, but I really felt like the Simplicity 8797 really encapsulated the main features. It is a wide open coat with just one button at the center. The collar is definitely oversized. It looks super snuggly. The pattern comes with four lengths to choose from, starting at the hip all the way down to the ankle. If you're looking to really hit on this trend, you'll want to go with that long ankle length. I would also do like just the tiniest bit of pattern hacking and I would skip the center button and instead sew up a belt as a tie closure. Whether you tweak the pattern or you just sew it up as designed, I think it is a great jumping off point for this oversized coat trend. Simplicity 8797 comes in sizes extra small to extra large, which is for hips uh, 33 to 48 inches. The pattern is rated intermediate because you are sewing a notched collar and you'll have a lining on the inside. 
but this coat doesn't have like any real fitting areas. It's not super detailed. And so I think that most folks in like that adventurous to advanced beginner category could take this on and sew it up successfully. Uh, the difficulty is also going to depend a bit on the fabric that you choose. So suggested fabrics include wool, denim, fleece, and like teddy fabrics. Uh, wool might be require like a bit more prep and maybe some extra tools, but is generally going to be pretty steady to sew up. Whereas a teddy fabric can be a bit bulky, a bit messy, but you don't have to do any like special care or prep for it. And visually it is very forgiving. So you can kind of choose like what level of project you want to do. I've chosen this super lush wool blend coating. It is 90% polyester and 10% wool. It is so, so cozy. Uh, this is another one that I could just see myself like binding the edge and using as a blanket. Um, so there are two sides to this fabric and they are very different. Uh, you can kind of determine which one you want to use as the right side for your project. Uh, so here, we have this really lovely texture where you can see and feel uh, the check weave. I think it looks really sophisticated, really classic. Uh, the texture is just beautiful. And then there is this like soft and cozy brushed side um, with kind of a nap going, going this way. I want to pet it going down. So for the Simplicity 8797, I almost want to skip the lining and just make like a super wide facing so that I can have this really soft brush side like right up against my skin for just like ultimate coziness. I think it would be super cute and really warm and toasty. So those are my top projects for sewing up some on-trend winter outerwear. The trends we leaned into here were these classic to oversized silhouettes with menswear inspired details, neutral colors, and sophisticated understated fabrics. For a quick recap, we looked at a cotton drill sienna chore coat, a stretch suede Charlie bomber jacket, an atelier brunette gabardine isla trench coat, a cozy flannel Ilford jacket, a menswear inspired tweed Chevelle coat, and an ultra trend forward oversized coat using a wool check and the Simplicity 8797 pattern. So as I said earlier, everything we talked about is linked below. So you can head over and check out all the pattern and fabric details. Um, our product pages also include photos and reviews from other makers all around the world. So there is great extra information and inspiration there too. If you have any questions about anything we chatted about today, be sure to pop them below. We would love to answer them or give you recommendations. We love hearing from you. We love talking all things sewing and making patterns and fabrics. That is why we are here. So if you are planning to sew a jacket or a coat this season, we would love to hear all about your plans. I hope you are feeling inspired and confident about sewing up some trendy winter outerwear. That is all from me. So until next time, happy making. Bye.